Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the answers to the rounding numbers worksheet and we'll take you through some of the tricky bits. Question one says circle the options that show what the number in the place value chart will be when it is rounded to the nearest 10,000 and nearest 100,000. So the first thing we need to look at then is what does this number actually represent? Um, I've just used some uh, bits of serial here to uh, put in the place value chart so we can replicate the number that you've got in the question there. So I've got this, the, correct, the same number of digits in as the chart in the question. Uh, so if we look, we've got two in the millions, six in the hundreds of thousands. We've got two million, six hundred and eighteen thousand, three hundred and seven, and seven in the ones. So if I write this number out using uh, digits in a place value chart, We've got that number here. We've got 2,618,307. Um, what we're going to do then is we'll look at what that number will be when we round it to the nearest 10,000 and nearest 100,000. And then we can see which of the options in the question it matches up with. So first of all, to round it to the nearest 10,000, we're, we're going to look at rounding it to here. And to do that, we need to look at the column uh, this means it's to the right of that in the thousands. So to write it to the nearest 10,000, we need to look at what digit is here in the thousands. And if it is five or more, we round up. If it is less than five, if it's uh, zero to four, we round down. So in this case, it's eight, so it's in the five or more, so we're going to round up. And that means we round this digit, the tens of thousands, up. So our number rounded to the nearest 10,000 would be two digit two in the tens of thousands two digit in there and put the zeros in there so our number will be two million six hundred and twenty thousand and we have that number uh, in one of our options so round us the nearest ten thousand two million six hundred and twenty thousand we'll do that again now but this time we need to be rounding it to the nearest hundred thousand so we're going to be looking at this column here but to know what we're going to round to, whether we round up or down. We're going to round, look at this this column here, the tens of thousands column. And it is less than five, so it's in the zero to four. So we're going to round that down to zero. We don't need to change this digit here at all. We're not going to round up, so that will stay as 600,000. So it'll be two there, six, and we're going to put zeros in the other columns. So it'll be two million. 600,000. Uh, we have that in words as one of our options there, uh, 2,600,000. Uh, question two says, use each digit card once to complete both statements. I've got the digit cards here. I've just written the numbers out with the missing spaces for the digits. I've not written out what we're going to round them to because you can see that in the question at the side. Um, so if you look at the first number then, it says that this number Rounding to the nearest 10,000 is 3 million. So we're going to be rounding to this digit here. And to do that, we're going to have to look at the thousands digits, know whether they're going to round up or down. In this case, we're going to be rounding down because it's 2, so it's less than 5. So we're going to round down, and this digit won't need to change. Now, to round to 3 million, that digit, for it not to change, is going to have to be a 0. So we know that the 0 is going to get used there. These two numbers are where it gets a little bit trickier. And here we have this number, rounding to the nearest 100,000 is this number. So we're rounding to this digit and we look at this digit to know whether we round up or down and whether this digit needs to change or to stay the same. Now, we haven't got a 9 as one of our digits, so we couldn't put a 9 in there and end up rounding up to 9 million in some way. So we know that our number down here that we round to, the number that it's going to be when it's rounded, is going to have to start with an 8 million because there's no way that it's going to round up to 9 million looking at the digits we've got. So that digit we're going to use there and our number when it's rounded is going to be 8 million and something. So now we've got 7, 5 and 4 to work with. If we put these digits in and just try it out to see what happens, we could put a 4 and a 5 in there and see what it would round to. So we've got 8,453,211 and we're rounding to the nearest 100,000. So in this case, we're going to be looking at this digit to know if we're going to round up or down. 
it's a five, so we'd have to round up to eight million five hundred thousand, and we have only got seven left, so it can't be that combination. What if it was eight million four hundred seventy-three thousand two hundred eleven? So in this case, we'd look at this digit, the ten thousand digit, and it's a seven, so we'd round up to eight million five hundred thousand, and we have got a five, so it's eight million five hundred thousand. So that's our numbers there, 8,473,200, we'll round up to 8,500,000. Question 3 says, Abigail is thinking of a number, and she puts it in these function machines, what could Abigail's number be? And Abigail is saying, my number has seven digits, but only one of the digits is even. And we have three function machines, uh, so Abigail's number rounds the nearest million, will be seven million, and it's the nearest 100,000 and 10,000, that'll be 7,500,000. Now, I've just put some digits in on this place value chart here. So the number I've made is 6,759,113. So looking at the first function machine, it would round to 7 million, because we'd look at the hundreds of thousands digits, and we'd round up, because it's a 7, to 7 million. So this one would work for the first function machine, but it wouldn't round to 7,500,000 if we're rounding it to the nearest 100,000 and 10,000. If you look at the function machines, then it's these three columns, place value columns, that we're going to need to look at. To round to the nearest million, we'd look at the digit in the hundreds of thousands column. To round to the nearest 100,000, we'd look at the digit in the tens of thousands column. And to round to the nearest 10,000, we look at the digit in the thousands column. So really it is these three columns here and the digits in them that we're going to be most concerned with. If we think about the um, function machines then, we know that we can't round up to 7 million because if we round up to 7 million, we then can't round our number up to 7,500,000 when we're rounding to the nearest 100,000 and 10,000. So our number is going to have to start with a seven in the millions, it's going to be seven million and something. I'll just swap those around for a moment because I must keep the six as my even, my one even digit. So our number is going to have to start with in the seven in the millions column, seven million and something. If we're going to round down to the nearest million to seven million and round up to seven million five hundred thousand to the nearest hundred thousand ten thousand, then that's a clue that our number is going to have to be between seven million and between 7 million and 7 million 500,000. So it can't be 600,000. It's going to have to be between 7 million and 7 million 500,000. So I'm going to swap the 6 for a 4. So now we have 7 million 459,113. So let's just check the first function machine. In this case, this number will round down because we'd look at the nearest to 7 million, because we'd be look at the 100,000 digit, it's a 4, so we'd round down to 7 million, if we're rounding to the nearest million. In this case, we would round up to the nearest 100,000, to 7 million 500,000, because we have a 5 in the tens of thousands column, so we'd round up. To round to the nearest 10,000, then, we'd look at this digit in the thousands column, it's a 9, which would mean that we'd round up to 7 million 460,000. So that one wouldn't work. What we need to do then is think, how can we make it so that we can round up to 7,500,000 when we're rounding to the nearest 10,000? In this case, we're going to need to change that to a nine. So that when we look at the thousands digit to nine, we'd round up to 7,500,000 to the nearest 10,000. Let's just check those again. So now we've got 7,499,113. Round to the nearest million, we would round down to 7 million. Round to the nearest 100,000, we would round up to 7,500,000. And round to the nearest 10,000, we would also round up. And because we've got a 9 in the, hundred, in the tens of thousands there, we would round to 7,500,000. That was a video on the answers for the rounding numbers worksheet from Classroom Secrets. If you want to watch a video tutorial for the skills covered in this video, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or for the resource links to this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.